since they want to know since they want to know the RNL Carriers New Orleans Bowl will feature the App State Mountaineers against the Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders. Uh, MTSU comes from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, which is a little bit out, outside of Nashville there. Uh, they come out of Conference USA with an 8 and 5 record overall and we're 7 and 1 in league play. Um, I guess you could say 7 and 2 if you include the championship game, uh, which was actually a rematch of their last uh, conference game against UAB. Uh, their best win this year did come against UAB that previous week. Um, and, you know, they ended up being the eventual conference champs from that game. But that uh, score that they beat them by the first time was 27-3. to So a pretty impressive victory there that first game. Uh, their worst loss was to FIU. Uh, FIU actually isn't a bad team. They actually finished second in the East Division of Conference USA. Um, I think their record was something like 8-4 and four overall. Um... But they had more conference losses. Uh, App and MTSU had one common opponent in the Charlotte 49ers. Uh, each team won, but by very different margins. MTSU escaped with an eight point victory, while we know App State won by 36 points. Uh, those matchups happened six weeks apart, so don't read too much into that. Uh, however, you know, there is the somewhat measuring stick you can use from it. MTSU scores just over 29 points a game and allows just over 25. Uh, on the other hand, App scores over 36 points a game and allows less than 16. So all the stats look to be in App's favor, but let's break this down a little bit further. Brent Stockstill is the quarterback, and his dad just happens to be the coach of the team as well. Uh, Brent, to me, seems very similar to Taylor Lamb. He's not the flashiest uh, and he's not being looked at by NFL scouts from what I can see, uh, but he does get the job done, and he's pretty consistent in his play overall. Stock still is thrown for 10 more touchdowns, uh, but also four more interceptions than Zach has so far this season. So that gives you a little bit of a measuring stick on the uh, where the two compare as far as overall statistics for touchdowns and interceptions. Uh, Stock still does throw a lot more than Thomas had, does, however. Uh, so Zach only has 230 attempts passing this year. Stock still has 427. Uh, so you're starting to see how MTSU runs their offense a little bit more than App does. The interesting thing that you will see that I uh, saw on film is what I call happy feet in the pocket. Uh, he just doesn't look all that comfortable. I'm sure it's something that's just happened since he's ever started playing the game. So it's just more of a, a, a comfort thing. Um, however, that could speak to the weakness of his line, and he's just a little afraid of how much the pressure is getting to him. So there is that aspect to look at. Charon Mobley is the leading rusher, but he only has about half as many yards as Darrington Evans. Uh, as a team, they've rushed for about half as many touchdowns this year as App has. Uh, so obviously the run game isn't a focus, um, but they can still be dangerous some of these runs that you'll see in the clips actually aren't from their leading rusher. So that just tells you that they do have some depth at the running back position, even though it doesn't seem to be a strong suit of their game every week. Uh, Ty Lee has caught 67 balls for 828 yards. Let us that little 828 there for the Boone call out. Uh, and he's got seven touchdowns to go along with that this season for the Blue Raiders. Uh, the interesting fact here is, even though MTSU is much more of a passing team, much more of a spread offense uh, as far as getting the ball out to their wide receivers, both teams have exactly five players who caught at least 15 passes, all for over an average of 10 yards. So what that tells me is MTSU, even though their passing game is their strong suit, they're not blowing it out of the water as far as statistics go. It tells me that when App passes, it's a much more consistent game. So I, I don't think that the passing offenses are really all that different as far as success. I think they're looked at more differently because of how often MTSU leads on the passing game. So we'll see if we can force them into some bad throws this Saturday. Uh, as far as the other last part of the offense goes, kicker Cruz Holt is, is pretty much money within 39 yards. He hasn't missed within 39 yards this year. And uh, in their first game of the year, he actually hit a 42-yarder. Um, but after that, uh, he missed every attempt over that 40 yards. Uh, defensively, need to keep an eye out for Reed Blankenship, who plays safety. 
Uh, he's only a sophomore, but he's he's become impressive pretty quickly for the Blue Raiders and uh, won Defensive Player of the Week a couple times this year. Uh, overall, I think this game could and maybe should be one-sided, especially when you look at the statistics and how they compare. The only thing that I'll mention with that is that's really dependent on whether you think or other people think the Sun Belt Conference is at or above Conference USA level this year. I think the top teams in the Sun Belt certainly are. But from top to bottom, you've got to include all those teams because some of those statistics come from really bad teams. Those teams exist in Conference USA as well, but Sun Belt has some really bad teams. So you you can only lean on the statistics so much in this one, but you know you got to provide them too because you have to have some way to compare these teams before you go into it. But uh, I I think Sun Belt was it was very impressive in those top couple teams this year. Um, I think what we'll need to really win this game is is still a clean game. I mean we can't keep turning the ball over. Uh, you know one two turnovers is probably the max you want in a game like this. Um, you don't want to give up a lot of penalty yardage because this is the type of game that can swing quickly. You know, there's no weather to take advantage of or cause a disadvantage. You know, you're in a dome stadium, so that part of the playing field will be even all the way across the board. So it's just the little things you have to stay consistent within to come out with a victory in a game like this. But I still think App should be able to wear down their front seven defensively because we bring pressure, and from what I've seen in the film, they don't do well with pressure. Uh, again, the quarterback gets a little antsy and makes either bad throws or ill-advised throws that the defense can take advantage of. And if he's making bad and poor decisions, I have all the confidence in the world in our secondary that they'll take advantage of that on Saturday night. So, I see App prevailing in their uh, first bull trip down in New Orleans. And, of course, uh, 9 o'clock Eastern Time, ESPN... Enjoy the game and go apps. Uh -huh.